Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get mods working with Sonic Adventure 2 on the Steam Deck. If you're familiar with how to do this on Windows, then the process is not too different, but there are some steps you'll have to take on the Steam Deck. Let's go ahead and open up desktop mode, then we will open the Discover Store and search for Proton. From there, that should let us download Proton Up QT and Proton Tricks. Let's go ahead and open Proton Up QT. And we can use this to download Proton GE, which is an additional version of Proton that is not already pre-installed on the Steam Deck. You may not actually need this. I do believe the regular versions of Proton should work, but it's what I'm using. So if you want to follow what I'm doing par for par, get that. And you'd actually be able to use Wine instead of Proton Tricks, but I'm using Proton Tricks. Let's go to the Sonic Adventure 2 Mod Loader download page, which I'll have linked in the description, and download that. From there, let's open Steam, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and then we can go and open the folder that we just downloaded, highlight everything there, and drop it in our Sonic Adventure 2 folder. I'm not going to do that because I already did. On the main page, there may actually be some additional files for the Sonic Adventure 2 mod loader, but I don't remember installing them, so you should be fine. We can go into the mod folder, which is where you'll actually install any mods that you get from Game Banana or elsewhere on the internet. You can just drag them into this folder and they should show up on the mod loader itself. So let's go out of there and open the Sonic 2 Mod Manager exe. And you click that, hit run. And if you are using Proton Tricks, you will see this menu. You can choose Sonic Adventure 2, but I'm choosing Apex Legends just to show that it doesn't matter what game you select. This is basically just enabling Proton to let the application run. We see that it's now opened, and I'm receiving an error. You shouldn't be receiving this. I just added some additional files earlier, so it's angry at that. If you want to add some more mods after you've already opened it, you can do that. Just go back to the mods folder. Add your mods, and then click the Refresh button. And you should find your mods here. Uh, do note that the HD GUI for Sonic Adventure 2 and Dreamcast Lighting mods both made my game crash. Your mileage may vary, but if you have these mods installed and you notice that you cannot open your game, this may be why. So we can save our mods and close that out. Now let's go ahead and add Sonic2app.exe as a non-Steam game. We need to do this because opening the regular Sonic Adventure 2 through Steam will not work. So open Steam, go over to Games, and add a non-Steam game. From there, we want to take note of the file path that leads us to Sonic Adventure 2, which as you can see here, it says run, media, some letters, Steam apps, common, and Sonic Adventure 2. So you can follow along with what I'm doing. Click on that forward slash. And look, there's the run folder. Open that. And there's media. There's all those letters. Now we can just confirm the rest of the file path. Yep, Steam apps, common, Sonic Adventure 2. And if we scroll down. Yep, here's Sonic Adventure 2. Now we need to change our file type to all files so we can actually see the Sonic2app.exe. Scroll down there. Select it. And add it as a non-Steam game. I've already done that, so I'm not going to try doing it a second time. Let's exit out of here. Uh, and you'll notice that when you first install it, it will say Sonic2app.exe. I actually renamed mine to say Sonic Adventure 2 modded. If you want to do the same, just right click it, go to properties, and change the name from there. Let's also go to compatibility, force a specific compatibility layer, and then choose ProtonDB, or I'm sorry, ProtonGE or whatever version of Proton you want to use. Then if you want the custom art that I'm using, you can go to Steam Grid DB and search for Sonic Adventure 2 there. 
and you can add the art from the Steam app. There are some more detailed videos available on YouTube for the process of adding art to non-Steam games. So if you find yourself having some trouble, you can search one of those. So let's go ahead and just launch the game to confirm that it works now that we have some mod installed. Give it a few moments. And here we can see that the game launches just fine. I'll actually be receiving an error because I opened this in top mode and all it detects is a keyboard and mouse, which is not my usual setup. For that reason, you should probably launch this in game mode to avoid that error. Which you can see right here. But in any event, thank you for listening and hopefully this helps out. Have fun playing modded Sonic Adventure 2.